Okay. Ready? Fingers on the top, arms under the chin. Hold it down with one hand. Stick your tongue forward, can you? Lick your top lip, left to right. That's good. I'm going to take that out. Okay, you the tray, the tray's poking through, it's causing a bit of discomfort on both sides, so I'm just with a poor spur, just trim off some of the tray before we do the second part of the impression. If you use a coarse spur, it won't block the compound. Just trim that bit off. And the same there. Okay, so now we're looking to get a bit more lingual extension. We've tried this back in, there's no more discomfort. You see, you see the ridge, we've got overextension here, but there might be a bit more lingual extension to be achieved, so we green stick one side at a time. Don't need much. And now try this in. Mirror to attract the tissues, fingers on the top. Lick your top lip, left to right. No discomfort. Uh -huh. right, good. Let me take it out. Now we're going to do the upper, same thing. Make sure the tray is approximately the same shape as the current denture and size. Load it so it's the right shape. Back in the water bath to make sure it's warm. And go to your patient. Uppers from behind. Seat the tray and watch it go over the ridge. And just central pressure, and this is the critical bit. Thumb and forefinger, squeeze the top lip, watch the patient's eyes. Can you move your chin left to right? That's it. That's great. Mm. So, so again, we're slightly short. This is normal. We're slightly short, buckle to the tube rosters. So I always do green stick up there to make sure. Labelly, we've probably got the right depth. So now we're going to green stick one side at a time. Small amounts. Don't leave it in the flame. And just roll it across where you think you need the extension. Water bath. So. Now insert, insert, mirror, retract the tissues, close up slightly, make sure it goes over the ridge, into place. And to make sure the green stick's where it's got where you want, close your mouth slightly, you just push from the outside and the green stick gets pushed into the sulcus. Then you ask the patient to move their chin left to right. That's great. Open up, take that out. Just to confirm. I'll do the bottom one first, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm getting fairly close to it. It's the smooth mix we're trying to get on. Yeah, yeah. Not too much pressure. Okay. <laughs> How many bottles of this have you mixed, Jess? Thousands. Hundreds. <laughs> I go with thousands. You've got the recipe. <laughs> She's good at icing too. <laughs> now, Jessica's going to be loading it. Don't faff with it. Under the tap. It's just going to reach around about. Now, mirror to attract the tissues. See the tray. I haven't got any of your face, don't worry. Fingers on the top. Hold the tray down. Really bore the mould. You're pulling the excess material around the edge of the tray. You have to hold the tray down. But you stick your tongue out. Lick your top lip left to right. Hold the tray down. Let your face go slack. That's it. Never let go of the tray. Tongue out again, left to right. Stop yep. So when it's set, you just take it out. Okay. Now the upper. So the critical thing with the upper, get the back in first right against the back of the palate, so the excess comes forward. You watch it go over the ridge, you're pushing at the back, and then you pull the front up. Close your mouth a bit, relax your face, border moulding, you're pulling the excess round, so you're pulling it towards you. 
and you just squeeze between the nose and the top lip. Open again. This is the, you have to keep pressure on the tray all the time and move your chin left to right. And then it's set. Then it's set. Just gently pull it out, pull the cheek out of the way to break the seal. Don't pull the front down, it digs against the ridge and just follow the path of insertion and pull it out.